This year there are different forms, different doses, even different ages that are right for various flu shots available. There are five vaccines on the market right now, but as Anthony Sabella reports, choosing the right one can be easy. It's a simple shot that makes a world of difference. And at 89 years old, Loyal Dean makes sure to get his every year. At our age, uh, we're more susceptible to uh, to viruses and things like that that happen. But in more recent years, the options have expanded to sprays and higher doses. Although he's stuck with his typical shot this time, Dean says there's a lot to consider. The stronger one, would uh, we would have gone for it, but I, I don't know if it would be more susceptible to a reaction or not. Doctors say that's just one thing to look out for when heading to the clinic. My advice is if they've gotten the uh, regular flu shot in the past, they've done well, they haven't gotten the flu, get the regular one. If they've had problems with it in the past or if they've gotten the flu after getting the flu shot, try the high dose one. That especially goes for the elderly who could benefit from the extra antibodies provided by a higher dose. For those who don't like the shot at all, there's also the spray, but that's only for ages 2 through 49. And that's not all. Here we have examples of all the different flu vaccines that are out there, including the quadrivalent, which is brand new this year. Unlike your typical vaccine, it fights four strains of flu instead of three. Might theoretically give better protection than the older ones did. We don't have a lot of data showing us that yet, but it, it makes sense that it will. The Ingham County Health Department is giving out all types, but warns not to focus too much on the strains or dose, but just on getting the shot. There really is no no preference at this point on what, what vaccine to get. Anthony Sabella, Fox 47 News. The Ingham County Health Department is holding a special flu shot clinic next Wednesday for anyone interested in getting the vaccine.